Phasmo has finally released some notes for us. We now, hopefully, have some answers about certain things. The last time I did something like this, I think was the most recent um, uh, patch of notes that they put out, which for YouTube purposes, I will say if you want to see that, watch it by clicking the top right hand corner of the screen to watch that video. So now we're going to go in here and we're going to read these notes and see what's going on. The next update, console merch and more merchandise. I'm sorry. Sit down and chat. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Welcome back. We've got some news for you. So Kinetic Games, our Twitter followers and users in the Discord may have noticed that we have been expanding the company this year. So far, we've hired an additional two artists, an email support, a sound designer, and a QA lead. Additionally, we are actively interviewing for several other roles, with new employees joining us throughout the year. We are committed to expanding our team at a manageable pace, take extra precautions while we continue working from home. So they're still working from home. This is good to know. Our new office will soon be ready and we're looking for talented and passionate people to join us in our journey. If you're interested in joining our team and can work in the UK, you can find a list of our currently available positions on our website, Kinetic Games Careers. So to any of my UK supporters, this is your opportunity at a job. It's so from what I'm getting with this is that they have been currently just having people apply and they've been hiring on new people from what I'm gathering. So two artists, an email support, sound designer, Q and A lead. That's five new employees that they've brought on to the team and they're looking to bring more on. So they've been working on expanding their team and they've also still been working from home. Console, we appreciate your patience and understanding regarding the delay of phasmophobia for consoles. Our team is still working to meet the high standards we've set for the game. While we understand that delays can be disappointing, which I know a lot of you homies of mine that play on console that want to play this are very impatient right now about it and are very disappointed about the wait. We believe that the wait will be worth it. Our goal is to ensure that the console release delivers the best possible experience at release. We will share more information on the development and plans for the console within the next few weeks. Honestly, by now, what I feel like they should be doing for the console release is take whatever you have right now at this moment and put it out as a beta test. You know, let the console players beta test the shit out of it on console and have your console players that are testing this out give their feedback on what's working, what's not working, what needs to be improved, that kind of thing. I feel like that would help um, increase the excitement for console, especially since you're going to give them something to test out. You know what I mean? Like Sea of Thieves, they've... Uh, they put out a beta test for their PS5 players to test out and they took their feedback on things that were going on with the game on console. Something to think about. At this rate, they should have something for, for people to test out. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they've worked at this long enough to where they have a base that they can put out and something that they can test out. All right. Next up, Event Tide. Initially, the Point Hope and Adjusting the Ascension updates were planned as separate releases earlier this year. However, we decided to address significant game optimizations and combine them with the new content. This approach ensures a much smoother experience for you when the new update is released. We're excited to announce that Phasmophobia's Event Tide update will launch next Tuesday, June 25th. June 25th, we're getting a motherfucking update. I am so excited. This update will include include this update will include the brand new location, Point Hope, the Ascension adjustments, and a host of optimizations, changes, and fixes. Our official partners will be streaming the update on Monday the 24th. This is such good news. 
This is literally such good news because recently we have been talking about when's a new update coming? When are some changes coming to the game? I know they're working on Point Hope. Is it finished? I know they're working on console. What's the plan? So this is refreshing to hear. Oh, that's the same day as Lethal Company, though. Shoot. June 25th. Phasmo and Lethal are going to be butting heads. That's crazy. On to merchandise. I wish for something real. We've cur we're currently selling a limited time plushie of the cursed possessions, the monkey paw. It's a high quality plushie made by the folks at Makeship. It's incredibly soft, has a felt tag, and even has fur on the back of the hand. This is a one-time run and won't be sold again, so don't miss out. Find more information and purchase one for yourself here. Boom, boom. Join our official Discord to enter a free giveaway later this week for one of five free plushies. Let's take a look at this thing. That actually looks fucking sick. And you can see the fur on the back too. There's the tag that they mentioned. That's actually sick. I like it. All right. Thanks, the kinetic team. Oh, so that's all they were going to tell us. Okay, cool. I mean, pretty simple and straight to the point. It feels good to know that we're having an update come in. And it, it's good to know that the Point Hope update and the adjusting the Ascension updates are being combined into one. Um, I definitely feel like that's going to cause a lot of bugs, but obviously they will act fast on it like they usually do when it comes to bugs. Again, I feel like console should be put out as a beta test for console players only. For console players only. And I feel like they should be getting feedback from console players about what to adjust, what to fix, what needs to be improved, and all that stuff. That's that's just my two cents. However you feel about it, whatever feedback you have, please feel free to post it in the comments down below. But yeah, th this is this is refreshing. We're getting an update on next Tuesday, the 25th, and I couldn't be more excited.